Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I am here to represent an interesting project that we are working on uh, with GeoBeyond. Uh, it's called as GeoServerX, which is a modern Python and CLI package to interact with GeoServer. Uh, just an overview, and uh, one of the reasons why we decided to do this at GeoBeyond is also that uh, we worked with GeoServer a lot, and one of the things that we wanted to do is like uh, figure out a way that we can send a lot of asynchronous requests to GeoServer using REST APIs, and that's how we started to do it. Like, so we'll see what it is, why we created it, the layout of it, how you can use it, and where are we heading from here. Uh, so what it is, in a very simple term, you send a request either as a Python package or via CLI, uh, which is GSX, and then you send a request uh, to GeoServer as a REST API, get the data back, and then, uh, and then that's all. So we support synchronous and asynchronous uh, request. We also have a context manager approach to do things, and we are trying to also standardize the results with color coding and, uh, and, and obviously the, uh, the, uh, the codes. And then we are also providing command line interface to execute these same functions that we are doing. Uh, the layout is quite simple. Uh, we have built everything in poetry, and uh, the dependencies are HTTPX, which is essentially the main uh, library that we are, send, uh, we are using to send request. Uh, we are using Pydantic, Typer, Rich, and the document is built with MKDocs. Uh, how to use it? It's very simple. You just install it uh, by doing pip install GeoServerX, and you can then either use the synchronous way or asynchronous way, depending upon what you want to do with it. Uh, the documentation is quite uh, robust. We are, we are trying to cover everything that we, that we actually also use in our own use case every day. Um, so this is the synchronous way. For example, here we are getting all the workspaces. Uh, this is an asynchronous way where we are uh, just using the asynchronous GeoServer, GeoServerX client. Uh, also as a context manager, so we, we make sure that we are closing the client properly. Then we also have a command line support. Uh, so you can just do GSX and you will see all the things that we are doing with, uh, with the Python library also as a CLI. Uh, here are a few of the things that we are doing. Uh, and just like that, you, if you type GSX workspaces and uh, with the default, let's say default username, password, and uh, the URL, you will get a reply like this. And you can also pass your own uh, username, password, and URL on the fly. Uh, so where are we heading? We are trying to translate all the GeoServer uh, REST APIs. We are tr designing a better CLI uh, with, with commands and sub, uh, sub commands. One of the Im uh, interesting thing that we are doing is introducing Swiss knife functionalities. That means we are trying to create web uh, like overflows uh, and, and, and web flows which will allow you to uh, which will allow you to do multiple things in a single rest, uh, rest request. Uh, so for a simple example can be that you can send the data to your database and also create layer and also assign style to it uh, in a single API. So that's what uh, we are trying to do right now with the with the GeoServerX. And uh, that's all from my end. Thanks a lot. You can reach out to either me or to Francesco. Uh, uh, and you can also find the GeoServerX live on, on GitHub. So feel free to fork. Feel free to uh, open an issue. Uh, we, we are more than happy to, to work on it. Thank you. Yeah, so thanks a lot, Krishna. Sounds very interesting.